people welcome back to another channel to another video why do i keep on saying channel oh. hey guys welcome back to another video for those who are not familiar with this face i am anna and welcome those who are new in today's video we are doing act 24 um i'm not gonna be reading it. i'm just gonna basically tell you guys what happened within x24 chapter 1 i mean chapter 24 verse 1 till 27 and as you guys can see it's pretty long 1 to 27 um it's not that long but it's long so i'm just gonna tell you what it's about basically in this reading paul was just being accused of um let me actually check what he was accused of before i say things that are not there uh, two hours later okay so it says that he was being accused apparently he was a troublemaker and he was causing riots which was not the case because when paul um said what he was actually doing he was just basically there to worship god and he was just telling people to repent um but he also mentioned that there was no crowd where he was so i'm just assuming people were just going on about their day not minding what he was saying but then <coughs> these people came up so they were like no this man was causing trouble he was bringing out riots and stuff like that and um this word was also a confirmation to me because um, I mean this reading, I don't want to say word because then I feel like if I say word it comes off as like I'm a prophetess which I don't really see myself as one until God says otherwise but <clears throat> in this reading um, it was a confirmation because I was having a, an amazing um, conversation with this lovely lady and she was telling me her testimony and that like basically um, I don't want to say like a testimony because it's not my place to say what she went through but overall she was just saying that people keep on ba bashing her and this is exactly what happened because as you all know or maybe if you don't but Paul's name used to be Saul and Saul used to kill Israelites, he used to kill God's people and persecute them and stuff but then God changed his heart and he started preaching the gospel and people were after and now people were doing what he used to do like trying to kill him for preaching the gospel and spreading awareness about jesus christ and stuff like that and i'm just like wow and a, a lot of us um people when we like come to christianity we are expecting like an easy life like oh god is with us yes he's with us but it also mentions in the bible that we are going to face a lot of trials and tribulations and a lot of people are not going to like us. A lot of people are going to um, tell us like what we're saying in our lives and whatnot and stuff like that. A lot of people are not going to like us. A lot of people are not going to like to, they're not going to like listening to what we have to say. Um, like they say, like that saying, um, the truth hurts. So I just feel that. And also that's why i feel like a lot of people have been coming after like um priests i'm not priests but like pastors and prophets that tend to sugarcoat the bible and when i mean sugarcoat is basically when people try to they only focus on like the good stuff when it comes to god and they never focus on like other things that god could possibly do or say or just things that like the nature of god like him punishing you for things that you know you're not supposed to be doing especially if you are a believer and you are let's say spreading lies let's say you, you are a believer and then you just decide to set up a youtube channel spreading the gospel but like putting it in context in a way that people will come to you because they, they, they like what they hear from you. You'll be like, oh yeah, God, um, 
will give you lots and lots of money and stuff like that or like uh, <clears throat> one thing i've noticed is that there are a lot of i don't know if you guys are aware but there's something called like kingdom marriage and um people will watch those videos because no one wants to like be alone so they will watch those videos and there'll be people on those platforms will be like yeah if you guys just um plant seeds in this ministry um uh, and your kingdom spouse will come straight to you blah 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 just give god two weeks and then two weeks pass and you already gave your money to this person and it, basically there's nothing you can do and now you just keep on paying this person money but like god never told you to pay this person money and that's why i also come across like um videos where people are like telling like they'll also be talking about like some sort of thing they'll be just spreading like awareness when it comes to these kind of videos that they'll be they'll be saying if you are led by the holy spirit to spare to give to give this person money then you give them but if you're not led to do not by all means do not give those people money because at the end of the day you're not gonna benefit anything from from giving the, this person money because they're just taking they're just um they they're just taking what people want to hear and putting it out there so that they can earn some money off of it and um i also just but all in all it's just it's the point is just to be careful and not just to um be out there and listen to what people have to say and then give them money for whatever they are saying if god is telling you to give them the money or if god is leading you to give what you have then that's fine but if you are not led to don't do it guys even it doesn't only apply to people like you see on the internet even when you are outside like when you go to prophets or you go to church or whatever if god is leading you to give because what ha because you see what happens is when that money is supposed to be prayed for meaning when they pray for that money they are praying for you so that whatever the the reason why you are paying that money like the should i say let's say you are giving this money because you want god to help you with a job or something then obviously they're gonna pray over that money and then whatever you are also asking god it helps push that prayer to the lord so that he can answer that prayer that's what's supposed to happen I mean it doesn't apply to all churches and all ministries and stuff like that because I mean they are just churches that way you are required to give um what do they call it tithe we are supposed to tithe um I feel like that's completely different unless God is telling you not to tithe at that church and I feel like if you're not to tithe at a church then why are you even at that church but well, that's between you and god don't take what i'm saying take what i'm saying with the grain or rather does it take what i'm saying like with a grain of salt or grain of sugar or whatever but don't just take everything that i'm saying also ask god like what is he saying about the situation and yeah so just this reading is just um opened me up to say that being a christian you're going to come across a lot of people that are gonna accuse you um and say things about you maybe they might try to say things that that you used to do the old you things that you um the past you but only God knows who you are and that's what matters. So that is it.
guys um i hope you like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and again if you don't know who i am um, i know and don't forget to pray and read your bible bye see you tomorrow